My name is Philip Diarth and I work for a Cisco Meraki partner called IFM located in New Zealand. This is a series on vid of videos on how to deploy a pair of Meraki VMXs into Amazon AWS so that they're fault tolerant and load balancing in an HA configuration. Uh, refer to a link that I'll put in the description below for um, a full list of instructions. So previously we created a role to run in a Lambda function. Now we're going to um, actually create a Lambda function. So go services Lambda. So a Lambda script is basically a, a little piece of code you can run without having to deploy your server. So we'll create ourselves a new function. And we're going to author this one from scratch. We'll call it vmxha. Um, this is a Python script. It doesn't particularly matter which version of Python you're using. Um, we'll just the, the root most recent one at this moment is Python 3.7, so we'll select that. Uh, we'll choose our permissions. So previously we created uh, a Lambda role called vmxha, so we'll say to use an existing role. And there it is right there, so we'll select that one. And we'll go create function. So we want our um, script to run every minute and to check the CloudWatch alarm and then update the routing tables. So we need to tell it to use a CloudWatch event trigger. And then we'll just scroll down to configure that. So we're going to create a new, uh, new trigger. And we'll call this trigger um, every minute because it's going to run every minute. So we carry on scrolling down. And don't need to change anything here, it'll be a scheduled expression. And we're going to tell this to run once every minute like that. And we'll just click on add in the bottom right here to um, add the trigger. All right, so now we've got to go back to the top again. And we click on our Lambda function VMXHA. And we'll scroll down again and we'll get to a code window. So on the link, um, in the description below um, is um, the code for you to copy and paste. You do need to update the code in a couple of bits. It's highlighted in bold on the website. Um, so um, you need to make sure you set the region that you're using. And uh, we'll go for a couple little bits here. Um, so this says, this is the ID of the VMX 2A instance. That's the ID of the VMX2B instance. And what the script does is it basically makes sure that uh, VMX2A is first of all running. And if its status says it's OK, we change the route table to use the VMX2A um, um, up routing table. Otherwise, we use the VMX2A down routing table. And then we just repeat that whole process for uh, VMX2B. And um, so once we've done that, we click on save in the top right. And now we need to publish our, um, our new function ready to use. So we go actions, public new, publish new version. I normally name it after the date and time. So I'm going to put um, the current date and roughly the time and publish. All right, that code is now active and running. 